Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to tour homes so you can make the process so much easier. And I'm going to get started right now. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami and Miami Beach. And today I'm going to give you some really good tips on how to tour homes so that you are not overwhelmed with the process and you can make the process of selecting a home so much easier. But first, before I get started, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button so you never miss another update. I do put out new videos every week. Also use the link in my information box and download our free guide today. Okay, let's get started. So I know when we take out buyers to look at properties, it can be a very confusing process. There is a lot to process and if you've never purchased a home before, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And even if you have purchased a home before, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So today I'm going to give you some tips that we give our buyers to make the process a little bit easier. Number one, look at the listings online before you tour them in person. You may even want to check out the square footage on the property tax history because very often the square footages may be wrong and the property tax history online may not even be correct. So have a look at some more details about the property so that you can get a better understanding of what you're going to look at. Number two, use your wants and needs list and don't get distracted by staging and decor. Sometimes people stage properties and they look amazing, but when all the furniture is out, it may not look so good. So really try not to get distracted by the furniture. Try to visualize the property without the furniture and make sure that it works for you. Number three, create some general questions that are very important to you. I always recommend that buyers really focus on the big ticket items like the roof, the electrical, the plumbing, impact windows and doors, also the HVAC systems. Just really make sure you have a list of those items so that we can ask questions about any of those items that are important to you as we're touring the property. For instance, sometimes I have buyers who say, I don't want a property that has an older roof. I don't want to go through the process of putting on a new roof. So properties, if the roof is already at the end of its life, there's really no reason to look at that property. So make sure that you write down all of your wants and needs list and anything that's like deal killers for you and so that we can spend time looking at properties that really match what you're into buying. And Ogden will always say, even if you say, I don't want to buy a property that has an older roof, maybe we should just check it out anyways, just to see. And then if that is still really the case, then we can eliminate it. If you really like the property, ask the listing agent if it's okay for you to take pictures or video so that you can make a little timeline and snapshot of the properties that you've looked and keep it in your phone. That way, when you think about it and you have questions about it, many times you can go back and look at that video or at some of those pictures and that will allow you to remind yourself because after you've looked at five homes in a day, I can tell you it gets very blurry. So definitely ask if you can take some pictures or video so that you'll have it for future reference when you need to refer to any questions. And always, we can always go back and look at the property another time. And last but not least, one of the most important things that we have to do when you're touring homes is not line up 100 properties to see in one day. My recommendation is really to keep it around five to six. That's really still a lot to take in. And even in today's market with the limited inventory for single family homes, we may not even be able to see that many. It may be one or two a day. But generally speaking, you know, in a regular market, just really limit it to about five or six because that's a lot of properties to see, a lot of systems to remember, in details, design, location, lot size, and more. So limit the amount of properties that you see in a day so that you can really remember them and take in those features of those properties as you tour them. If you have more questions about buying real estate in Miami or Miami Beach, we're always here to be a resource for you and I will see you soon.